welcome back to my watercolor channel today i paint a landscape with a focus on spruces first i watered the upper part of the painting so where the sky is and add some deep yellow and some opera rose which is slightly mixing with the yellow and gives a wonderful orange and then i add some color blue but you can use any other blue light blue for example such as covered blue or even ultramarine my painting is slightly tilted so everything flows down and then i continue with adding some trees at the distance which are painted in indigo blue if you have some excess paint just take it off with a clean brush i continue with the lower part of the painting so basically where there is some snow and add some turkey's blue as well as some stronger parts with a phthalo blue or any blue of your choice it's slightly mixing with the upper part but i'm not too worried about it and i leave some white patches to emphasize the whiteness of the snow then adding some strong colors which flow down as well and it gives a really nice abstract effect Then I add a little bit of salt, especially where the stronger pigments are to create some dreamery, has some snowy effect. I continue with the main spruce, where I did do a pre-drawing, partly because I want to make sure that I know where to leave some wider areas and where to add some stronger pigments. I use the same blue as I have used for the sky, but a little bit stronger in the pigments. Then adding as well some water here and there. A little bit of uh, more color, depending where I want to have a little bit more of a contrast. I make sure my tree, upper tree, is still quite wet. So basically, as the painting is tilted, everything flows down nicely. And I use a lot of water as well as some paints. My paints are quite watery so that the paints flow together. And to the side, I add some light branches. I do not want to overwork the tree too much, so I just use one layer basically for this tree. And here's some water. I do love it when the trees are covered in snow after a heavier snowfall especially in Kusamo where I used to live it's in the northeast of Finland you can find a lot of snow which also means a lot of snow work and a very snowy road my favorite part of the winter is basically starting in January because then the sun finally rises behind the horizon line even though we don't have much of a polar light then it's dark all the time as in Utsuki for example in really north in the Lapland but it's really nice to see some more light after the dark winter
a little bit more to the side some more branches and the white of the left out areas look actually quite nice I added some indica blue for the really dark spots you can see here to make a little bit of a balance with the trees and the distance taking off a little bit of a paint and then adding with light brush strokes some branches I try to make it a very fast painting so I don't overdo the tree too much. And here and there some more of the light branches. Adding a little bit of darker parts at the top, although it has dried there already. And then there's still darker parts in the middle to emphasize the snow laying on the tree. Then underneath a little bit more colors. And then I continue with um, two trees at the back. I wet a little bit paper there because I want that only half of the tree is gonna be seen and I use very light pigments. So it should give this impression that like really further away. And then I continue with the fourth tree. I'm using lighter pigments than on the main tree. And I'm spreading the colors the same way as I did it on the main tree, but not as much pigments. So really lighter colors. And then after everything has dried, I thought I'd add more color to the back at around the sun because the orange has faded away quite a lot. So I add a little bit more, wet the area and then add more of the orange. Taking off a little bit of the colors from the sun and to make it pop out a little bit more than wet around the sun with water and then I think more of a stronger pigments of orange but really just slightly Okay, that was a very fast painting. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe.